All right, welcome back to the color switch tutorial series in Construct 3. In our last video, we set up the gameplay and mechanics and everything is working wonderfully. In this video, we are going to set up uh, the game over condition. So let's uh, right click and add a group. I'm gonna call this game over. There you go. And we can add an event and say system and we want to compare a variable and that variable is going to be game over so whenever game over is true which is one we're gonna set up the game over condition so add an action and this is where the uh, groups come into play and I said you would need control uh, player control and ring spawner for sure so if we go system and just type in group and set group active. We're going to type in what group we want to set active or inactive. And in between quotation marks, type in the name of the group. And I'm going to say player control. Type it in exactly how uh, you named it. So player control, and I want to deactivate. And then let's add another action. Do the same thing. System uh, group group and we want to deactivate the ring spawner make sure we click deactivated so as soon as we get the game over variable changed to one which would be in our gameplay mechanics you know if we match the wrong one it sets game over to true and once game over is true your player controls, you'll no longer be able to uh, control the player object and the ring spawner will stop spawning rings. Let's add an action, system, wait, and I'll wait, uh, let's say two seconds, and then add an action, system, restart layout. So let's play that. So once our rings start coming down, we get a couple and then poof, our rings stopped coming down and it uh, reset the game for us. So there we go, that works. We will polish that up a little bit here. Uh, let's also make sure that our high score is being accounted for. So add an action, go to text and high score, type in set text, and in between the quotation marks, we want it to say high score colon space. And then on the other side of the quotation mark, the ampersand and the variable that we want it to read, which is the high score variable. So type in high, there's our high score variable. And click done. Something else we're going to need to do is come up here in the initialize group and we're going to need to set that up as well because each time it starts over we want it to uh, keep track of that high score so let's add an action text high score say set text do the same thing we want high score colon space whoops there we go on the other side of the parentheses, the ampersand and the variable, high score. And then we can move this up uh, above our two second wait. So we want that to happen immediately. All right. So that is it for the game over group. I'm going to collapse that. Uh, Inside the initialize group, I want to set up, uh, this just makes it feel a little smoother, a little polished. I'm going to add an action, system, I'm going to type in group, set group active, and I want uh, player control to be deactivated, and I'm going to move that up to the very top, just under the game over variable. And then 
I'm going to control C to copy, control V to paste, then I'll just double click in there and I'm going to replace the group name to uh, ring spawner. So whenever the layout starts or restarts, either way, we won't be able to move and rings won't be shooting down the screen. So we'll be able to read our ready and go text uh, and then we will turn these on. So I'm going to highlight those, control, click to copy, and I'm going to drag down to underneath go. All right, I think that works. Let's play that. So I can hit the keys and nothing happens because we didn't activate them. <laughs> I copied them, but I didn't activate them. So let's double click into those and make sure that those are activated. Activated. There we go. Okay, now let's preview. So left and right can't do anything. And then now I can. And there's my score up at two, three. Okay, I died. And my high score did not update. That's because we didn't tell it how to. But everything else works. All right. Let's, uh, let's tell it how to activate the high score. So I'm going to add a group. And I'm going to call this scoring. I'm going to add an event. I'm going to say system and uh, let's compare a variable. I'm going to say if uh, the score is greater than high score. So whatever value high score is at, if the current score is higher than that, then we're going to add an action and we're going to set the value of high score, high score to the current score. So that's our high score variable and our score variable. So if we have a high score of say 10 and we, we play again and as soon as we hit 11, then the current score is greater than high score, so it's going to update high score to whatever that score is. And then up here, and in the game over as well, it will update that score. So let's do that. There we go. We got one, two, three, and we're done. And high score updates to three. So now if I I have two, three, four, and now it updates to four. And then we'll try one more time. There's yellow, there's one. So I only scored one, and it still stays at four, so that's working. All right, I think that is good for this video. In the next video, we will set up uh, how we can increase the difficulty as the player progressive uh, progresses. And we'll also uh, make a, a, the Starfield background a pretty easy little effect that just uh, helps add a little aesthetic to the game. All right, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to save.